Let's practice drawing angles. We have to be familiar with our protractor to do this. The first angle I'm asked to draw is 50 degrees. I need to start by giving myself a straight line to draw from. Now that I have the straight line, I can zero my protractor using this dot on one end of the straight line that I drew. And then, counting up from zero, which means this time I'm using the inner numbers on the protractor, I go up to 50 and I put a line there that shows a 50 degree angle with the line that I had already drew. It is that easy to draw a 50 degree angle. Let's try drawing a 90 degree angle, but we will use the left side of the protractor this time instead. I need a straight line. Once I have my straight line, I can zero the protractor on it. And because I'm on the left side of the protractor and I know I have to count up from zero, this time I need to use the outer set of numbers. I follow those numbers until I get to 90 and I put a dot. And then I draw a line between that dot and the vertex I started from. And I have created a 90 degree angle. Some angles you're asked to draw are bigger than 90 though. What do you do? Well, start with a straight line. Put your vertex of your protractor, the zero dot, on the vertex one end of the line. And then we're counting up from zero. Well, that's the inner numbers on this side of the protractor. So I keep on going past 90 until I get 214, which is going to be right about here. And then I draw a line between the dot that I marked and the vertex that I was using. This is a 114 degree angle. 